Yeah, and the politics of boxing mm -hmm. is something that everybody has to understand when you're in the game. Yeah. What's the most frustrating part about but, the politics? See, with the politics of boxing, it never really affected me because, like, like I was telling y'all earlier, um, when it was politics, I went to another network. I went to another promoter to make the fight happen. So what, what that tells you what type of fighter I am. I'm willing to go with this promoter, that promoter, this network, that network, just to make a fight happen. Go to Australia twice, mm -hmm. take less money, do, do the proper things that it takes to show the type of fighter I am, to show that how great I am. You said before that, uh, especially going into the second fight against Cambosis, which you had zero to prove, mm -hmm. but you knew you'd beat him the first time, mm -hmm. and because of the clause in the contract, you'd have to go over there and fight him again. And you said you did that to make the fight happen. In boxing, a large critique of it or a negative has been the best fighters don't fight one another. Yeah. You know, we're still waiting for Errol and Bud. Obviously, we have... Um, Garcia and Tank, they, they, they settled that score. Now you and Lomachenko, what do you think boxing can do better to make sure that fighters of your caliber get the type of matchups that make y'all stars? Because, you know, you're a historian of the game. Mm -hmm. The reason boxing was big is because we saw Hearns and Hagler. Yeah. We saw Hagler and Leonard. You saw Leonard and Roberto Duran. What do you think boxing needs to I mean, change to make sure that happens? Fighters got to want it at the end of the day. We 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 the bosses. We just we just don't know it, or we don't you know we don't you know even push for it. But we got to say if if a fighter really wants to make the fight happen, then they'll press to make it happen. But fighters will just use the excuse of their promoter or the network or something like that. And sometimes it's true. I'm not saying that it's always the case, but for the most part, we we need to try to control our own destiny, try to control our own careers. You know what I'm saying? We're not under an organization like the NFL or like the NBA or nothing like that. Like we have to say. We just don't, you know, express it but, enough. But isn't your thought process with, with being respected by a bunch of 40-year-olds, isn't that old school? What? That fight anybody, anywhere, anytime? Like, people are strateg strategizing their careers, mm. and you seem like you old school. Walk yeah. him out here, I'm going to knock his ass yeah, out. Yeah, no, for sure. Now, that's definitely um, – I'm definitely a throwback fighter when it comes to that. Not many fighters do that, and I'm, but not many fighters want, want to fight, you know, each other. They want to try to get most money – for the least tests or the you know the easiest fights possible, but, and no. not and not all fighters. I'm not here to bash fighters or nothing like that because there's some fighters out there that's, that when I want to fight the best and want to test themselves and and are fighting the 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 best. Look at Canelo; he's going up and down, up and down weight classes, and guys like that are doing it. But it's just some fighters who who don't. Is it smart to not play to not play the the dance around strategically find fights? I mean, it depends how you look at it because. We could change the whole dynamic of boxing and make it like the UFC. Those guys fight each other, lose, fight, fight again, still <laughs> equally as big, may even be bigger after a loss. Look at uh, Israel Adesanya. He, uh, he lost and then came back, won, and now he's even bigger than he was before. Yeah. But just because he lost and then he came back and proved himself. So we could change the whole dynamic of it, but we're not. You know, Floyd kind of, like, of course Floyd made the – boxing bigger and everything, but he kind of messed up the game with the undefeated record and undefeated is everything. So guys don't want to fight each other. They want to keep the O. We spoke about guys just talking the talk and we said it was cap. A mm. lot of fight this, fight that. Yeah. But when you hear comments coming from Shakur Stevenson and then uh, Garcia saying they want to fight you, Channing said you might feel somewhat disrespected. Like you don't feel that respect that you've earned. But when you hear those comments, what does that make you feel like? I think that that's giving me the respect that I mm -hmm. that I yeah, earned I because so I remember it was a time when guys wouldn't even call my name like they was like they wouldn't even act like I even existed so it's like a compliment that they mentioned my name that they say my name because it's like yeah I'm I'm the guy I'm the guy with, with everything I'm the guy with the belts so you better mention my name because if you don't then I'm gonna say you duck it I'm gonna say that you're scared to say my name so now that they say my name I can't be mad at it I'm I'm happy that's that that's good I embrace it and I want to make those fights happen so. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. People were looking at me like, oh, you're not mad? No, nah, I'm not mad at all that Shakur said my name. Good, good for him. He's supposed to say that. Right. That shouldn't be frowned up, up, upon now. Nowadays, you call a fighter out, they get mad. Ain't this the fight game? Ain't we supposed to be fighting each other? Ain't we supposed to be calling each other out? How old are you again? <laughs> hey, but he, he act like he's 48, don't he? <laughs> he was born my rookie year. Just say that. 98. That's crazy. Yeah. No, Fred, if he was born your rookie year, he'd be 40 by now. <laughs> like